here at the Magic Gardens in Philadelphia, which is a series of mosaics created by the artist Isaiah Zega. It all started in 1994 when living next door to this, which was an abandoned lot, he decided to clean it up and he began creating mosaics out of found objects and trash and primitive art. Several years ago, when the landlord wanted to sell the space, he gave Isaiah just a couple of weeks to come up with $300,000. The South Street community rallied and raised the money to save the space, and now it's protected by a nonprofit foundation which supports the work. He has created these mosaics out of found objects and trash, and like this bicycle wheel, um, pieces of ceramic, piece, shards of mirror. He would have arrangements with tile factories to use their cast-offs and their discarded tiles. He would pay homeless people to, to find beautiful discarded objects for use in his mosaics. It's, it's really beautiful and amazing. like this can really help us think more clearly about the, the life that objects may have after we're done using them and how they can be used to make something that's transformative. Just like if we were to make compost out of our kitchen scraps, if we combine them in the right formulation, we can make something that turns out to be life-giving and nurturing. And here, other things that may have been discarded have been combined again in a particular way to make something that's nurturing and life-giving and aesthetically beautiful. Being here and looking at all of these objects, it really makes me appreciate how permanent each one really is. These are man-made objects, they're not like something that's natural that through a natural process can be returned to the elements from which it were made. These these objects, these bottles and tiles and pieces of mirror, they're really permanent. And while here they've been put into something that's beautiful, I can't help but think about all of the millions of other pieces of trash languishing in landfills and it makes me wonder, what is our relationship to beauty and to beautiful objects? And what is our relationship to usefulness? How can we and should we reevaluate those things?